G'day. Recently on Twitter, Jonathan at Study Maths posed a very curious algorithm for doing long division. It goes as follows. Here's five examples. To work out 7532 divided by 2, look at the first digit. How many times does 2 go into 7? It goes 3 times with a remainder of 1. But now read that as 15 and ask how many times does 2 go into 15? It goes in 7 times with a remainder of 1. But read that as 13. How many times does 2 go into 13? It goes 6 times with a remainder of 1. And how many times does 2 go into 12? It goes 6 times. 7,532 divided by 2 is indeed 3,766. Let's do another one. Uh, how many times does 4 go into 6? It goes one time with a remainder of 2, but read that as 23. How many times does 4 go into 23? It goes five times with a remainder of 3, but read that as 32. How many times does 4 go into 32? It goes eight times. 632 divided by 4 is 158. Okay, now let's take things further. Let's deal with all sorts of awkward situations in long division. For example, can we do a multi-digit long division? Okay, uh, 23. So I want to do 2784 divided by 23. Well, it doesn't go into 2, but let's look at 27. 27. How many times does 23 go into 27? It goes once with a remainder of 4, I believe. Read that as 48 now. How many times does 23 go into 48? I'm thinking uh, double is 46, it goes in two times with a remainder of two. How many times does tw 23 go into 24? It goes once, and now we have a remainder of one. 2784 divided by 23 is indeed 121 with a remainder of one. Uh, to practice remainders again, how many times does seven go into five? No times, so think of this as 51, no times with a remainder of five. Okay, 51, how many times does seven go into 51? Uh, 49, makes you think seven times with a remainder of two. How many times does seven go into 22? It goes three times, leaving me an overall remainder of one. Crazy! What about a triple digit uh, long division problem? Here it goes. 102, won't go into three, won't go into 31, but think of a 318, it goes, um, Three times, because I'm thinking 306. It goes three times, gets me to 306. 306 compared to 318, it's a difference of 12, so I have a remainder of 12. So I'll write 12 there, but think of this as 122. How many times does 102 go into 122? Uh, it goes once, it goes once. Gets me 102, but that's 20 over, I have a remainder of 20. So let's write 20 here, but now think of this as 205. How many times does 102 go into 205? I think twice. Gets me to 204, so it goes in twice, but that leaves an overall remainder of one. Wow, wow, what's going on? Can you explain why this method is working? Okay, the key to making sense of arithmetic algorithms is actually go back to our base 10 place value system. It actually explains everything because we think about, write, and express numbers in base 10. For example, let me draw a place value chart, make this very visual. So here is uh, the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and thousands. When I say a number like 2,763, I literally just said two of these, two thousands. Uh, 700 would be seven of these, 700s. 6T, that little T widening was just short for 10. So I'm literally saying six tens, six of these and three. There's the number 2,763. And we write this as 2763. There is place value in base 10. Now the thing about the base 10 uh, system is that we don't normally allow more than 10 dots in a box. Um, I call this an exploding dots machine where 10 dots in any box are really equivalent to one dot, one place to the left. For example, I know in English, English is a bit weird, we do actually say 1200. We actually allow ourselves to say 1200 in English, but we don't write a digit of 12. We say, no, no, no. 10 100s, 10 of these is really the same as 1 1000. So please explode 10 of these. Kaboom, because that will leave two behind. 10 100 is the same as one of those. Please write this number as 1 2 0 0. And we also say, call this number 1200. So 1200, 1200. English is a little bit more flexible, but the way we write it is literally 1200. Great, great. Um, backwards. Um, if I've got one dot there, I could say, well, that's 110. It really came from 10 dots over here, if you like. So actually, if I want to play, start playing with arithmetic, I can now be flexible with my dots. 10 of these makes one of those, or one of those came from 10 over here. One of these came from 10 over here. One of these came from 10 over there, and so on. All right, now I'm ready to start playing with actual arithmetic. So let me explain division, but let me do it first by going through multiplication. For example, if I take uh, 1,302 and I say, please triple it, well, I know the answer is going to be, what, 3,906, but let me draw a picture of what's really going on in multiplication. I said, 
please take the number 1000, one of these, three hundreds, three of these, no tens and two, and please triple it. I'm going to literally triple everything. There's one dot. I need to triple it. I need to make it three dots. Okay, there it is. I need to triple this dot. There it is. Triple this dot. There it is. There it is. Triple that one as well. Triple that dot and triple that dot. Bingo. I performed all the tripling by literally doing it in my picture. And what have I got? 3,900s, still no tens, and six ones. Beautiful. Beautiful. But let me, let's pretend we didn't see that. Let me just start with the answer. Suppose, oh, here's 3,906. There's a picture of 3,906. And ask, what got tripled to give that answer? That is, let me see what, that's going to be called division. What got tripled to give me 3,906? And I look at this picture and say, oh, I don't know, but let's think it's through. Well, there's a dot that clearly got tripled. So one dot there got tripled. Oh, one dot there got tripled. Another one there got tripled. Another one there got tripled. Uh, no dots there were tripled. Oh, a dot there got tripled. A dot there got tripled. Oh, I see that one dot in the thousands place, three dots in the hundreds place, no dots there, and two dots in the units place got tripled to give me 3906. If you like, if you like to think of groups of, I was asking how many groups of three do I see in a picture of 3906? I saw one at the thousands level, three at the hundreds level, and two at the ones level. I saw that many groups of three. Either way you think about it, there is division. So this visual um, representation of division is actually the key to explaining what's going on there. So let me do it, let me do it. Let's do the first one, 7532 divided by two. Right, so let me draw the dots and boxes picture of this. So what is it, 7532, so seven here, 7,000, five hundreds, three tens and two, and we're dividing by two. So we're looking for groups of two, things that got doubled. So we're looking for pairs like that. Okay, and let's compare this to the curious long uh, division algorithm. So I'll write that over here as well. We'll do the two together. All right, so I'm looking for groups of two in this picture. And I look at, first of all at the seven here and I say, oh, I see, indeed, there are three dots here, three groups of two that got doubled. I see three groups of two right there with one left over. And what's the algorithm say? Look at the seven. How many times does two go to seven? It goes three times, yep, three times, with one left over, one left over. But the algorithm says, take that one and attach it to this five and now read this as 15, which is very curious. So what's going on there? Well, I've got the one left over, but let's actually attach it to this five by unexploding. Uh, make that 10 over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yes, it really is 15 dots there in that hundreds place. We're doing the same thing. Now, let's look for our groups of two here. Well, of course, I only see seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them with one left over. And in the algorithm, we say, Two goes into 15 seven times with one left over and put the one over here, but read that now as one and three makes 13. What am I doing here? I'm really saying, no, no, put this dot over here, make an extra 10 over here to make this three over here, actually read as 13. One more, there we go, 13, bingo. How many groups of two do I see here? Well, I see six of them, one, two, three, four, five, six, and again, one left over. How many times does uh, two go into 13? Go six times with one left over. Six times with one left over. Let's unexplode that one dot there. Make it 10 over yonder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's think of this one with this two. Think of this as 12 now. Yes, think of that as 12. Of which I do see six more groups of two. Six more dots got doubled. There we are, six of them with none left over. And how many times does two go into 12? I just saw it physically, it goes six times. Yes, two, seven, five, three, two divided by two really is three, seven, six, six. Grand, great. All right, um, why don't you practice drawing a picture for that one? See if you can really see how the, the curious algorithm and the dots and boxes, boxes method both go hand in hand to explain what's going on. Because let me move to the next one. Let's go to 2784 divided by 23. It's a little more trickier one. That's gonna be fun to draw. So let me draw, let me draw. 2784, here goes, 2784. I will actually draw the dots. 2,000s, 700s, and 88 tens, and four. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. And I'm looking for 23. So that's right, yeah, groups of 23. So what does 23 look like? Well, a group of 23 would actually look like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one, two, three. 
All right, so that's what the 23, group of 23 really looks like, except, except we know in a 10 run machine, you don't want 23 things in a place. You say, well, 10 of these will make one dot one place over, and another 10 will make one, place dot, one dot one place over, and you leave three dots behind. So the picture here is actually really this. 23 will look like in place value chart, 10 explode, 10 explode, make a dot here, dot here, and we said leave three behind. So this is the annoying thing about actually being insistent that you only have at most nine digits in a box, is that we have to start doing the spilling over. But here's the thing, all 23 dots were really sitting here in the rightmost part of this little picture, and we went kaboom, kapow, and spilled over to the left. But all 23 dots were in the right part here. All right, so, so back to my problem. Oh, this, uh, first of all, the curious algorithm. 2784 divided by 23. All right, so how would I do this? Well, I'm looking for things that got multiplied by a factor of 23. I'm looking for groups of 23 in my picture of 2784. Do I see any two dots next to three dots? And I say, well, yes, I do. But right here, here's two dots next to three dots. There's actually 23 dots. And where are those 23 dots really? Well, they all must have been here in this right part of the loop because 23 dots must have been here and we kaboom, kapow, spilled over. So one group of 23 right there at that level. Beautiful. What's the curious algorithm say? The curious algorithm says, okay, okay, look at this. Uh, we've got, uh, don't look at two, look at two, seven. I did, I looked at the two and the seven. How many times does three, 23 go into 27? It goes one time with four left over. Oh, did I get four left over? I did, I got four left over, four left over. All right, but then the curious algorithm says, now put the four with the eight and think of this now as 48, 48. Oh, I could do that. I could put this four with the eight if I like by unexploding each of these. I did unexplode, 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 unexplode. That would make 40 dots there with the eight. I really would see 48 dots there in the tens place. That's correct. Except I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that. I think it's actually a little bit easier not to do the unexploding because right now I could see if I were to unexplode, I would get a group of 23. If I really did unexplode those, that would be a group of 23. And if I really were to unexplode these ones too, I explode those ones too, sorry. You would get another group of 23. I'd see two groups of 23 amongst those 48 with two left over, <gasps> which is what the algorithm says. How many times is 23 going to 48? It definitely goes in twice. It gets me up to 46 with two left over. And two left over, I could actually unexplode and unexplode, make 10 here and another 10 here to go with the four. I could really have 24 in the ones place. I won't do it because I could see that without making my picture really messy, I would indeed have another group of 23 right in that ones place with one left over, which is what the album says to do. How many times 23 go to 24? Goes one time with one left over, one dot left over overall. Beautiful, there's the algorithm. This is great, this makes perfectly good sense. I love pictures and mathematics. All right, so we did that one, we did that one. I'll leave that one to you. Actually, do this one as well. It's gonna be loads of fun. In fact, I even invite you to do this one as well. It's gonna be really sneaky and cool and fun. But I think we can now understand what's going on. So your optional practice home is try that one, try that one, and try that one. Compare the curious algorithm with a picture of dots and boxes and place, to, place value in base 10, and I'll bet it will all hang together. And you've got to just love this. I mean, this is just a, a back to basic arithmetic from elementary school, but everything you think about maths, there's no such thing as elementary maths. It's all deep and wonderful and profound. And here we are still finding wonderful insights about just long division. Who knew? It's fabulous.